Well here we are in the Wasdale Head area of the Lake District out for some landscape photography. Why not come with me? Well, good afternoon, and it is only just afternoon, and you find us um, out in the western area of the Lake District. We've driven round, and it's quite a drive round, and parked at the Wasdale Head car park. And we're going to go for a wander. We're going up to Wasdale Head, to the sort of village and where the hotel is, and somewhere near there, there's a waterfall that we're maybe going to take a look at. And then we're going to head off to towards Sty Head. See what we can find. It's, um, I mean, I've been in this area, but I don't think I've actually been along this particular path or trail or whatever you want to call it before. So we'll see what we can see. We're in the the area of some of the very big mountains, which I'll point out to you. Obviously, the, the biggest one is Scarfell Pike which is the tallest mountain in the Lake District and not just the Lake District but England. Uh, not in the UK because the ones in Wales and Scotland are higher so yeah we may, I don't know whether how well we'll see that one as we walk along but yeah well we'll carry on on the walk and we'll maybe see you a little bit later. Right, well we've made it to this waterfall just outside Wasdale Head and it's on um, Mosdale Beck I think it is, if I've got that wrong I'll put it, the correct one up on the video and it's known as Ritson Force. It's quite impressive, it's a bit difficult to, to get to a good angle uh, to actually capture. And ideally, it would be somewhere over there, but obviously you can't get down there at all. So if I just come round, you'll see here, there's the, um, the tripod and the camera. Um, I think it's relatively stable, relatively safe. I don't want to walk off and totally leave it. Um, but trying to stand around there to operate the camera is not easy, so... But I think I've got a, a good image. Now I think the settings were 100 ISO, f11 and a tenth of a second. And just looking at it on the back of the camera, I don't think I'm going to do it... Get the ND filters out to do it any slower. I think that's, that's quite slow enough. Whether I uh, up the ISO to do try and do a quicker one I'm not quite sure but yeah it's quite pleasant it's gonna be a pleasant day it's actually it's getting there's odd threats around but just looking up above us now it's actually blue sky up there so that's quite nice so yeah I just had a bit of a wander just up above there and I think there might be some more maybe you'd call them cascades rather than falls so once we've packed up here, we'll, we'll go up the path um, up the top right, and follow the, the beck up and yeah, we'll see if there's any other compositions. And then we're going to head back uh, to Wasdale Head and the way I came out you'll have seen it on some of the B-roll coming here, there was a, a, a quaint little bridge and on the way back I want to see if there's a uh, composition to get the, the and uh, capture the image of the bridge and then once we've had that we're going to head off on the footpath towards Stye Head Tarn. So that's what we're doing. 
I think I've got the images I want here. I'll maybe just, as I say, up the ISO and just get a, a quicker image, and then we'll put, then we'll have a look further upstream, see if there's anything else, and then back to the bridge. But anyway, whatever, we'll put the images up, and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've come back to the bridge and it's a while since I've uh, tried putting the video camera on a, a tripod but we're doing that and we're going to show you the, the image through the, um, through the screen. I think that's recording alright. So you can see we've got the bridge at the bottom here, um, it's in the bottom third. Because what I wanted to do was get, you know, is that Kirkfell? I think it's Kirkfell, whatever name it is, I'll put it up correctly on the video. Um, and that with the bridge, and I've tried a couple of exposures. You just saw me there taking the, the 10, 10 stop ND filter off, so I did a very long exposure and I've done a standard exposure just to see what effect I can get with the water. I just felt it was quite good. It's quite a nice bridge, but I thought the bridge just on its own wouldn't look quite light. It ne right, it needed something just to, to set it off. And now with um, Kirkfell in the background, I think that makes a good image. So, I don't know, we'll, whichever, if, whichever's best, either long exposure or the normal exposure, we'll put off, off the video and then we're going to head off to Styhead Town which is going down this way it's going over over that way so yeah we'll see how that all looks how that all comes out and yeah it's it's very in it's gone cloudy again there was a bit of blue sky and it's gone cloudy so we're not quite sure what it's going to do at all today so anyway we'll stop that we'll turn off the um, the camera video and we'll come and turn that off. So, we'll see you a bit later.
Right, well I've just had a bit of a stop just for a bit of a rest and to um, capture some images and as you can see there there's there's the bridge over the now this is a gable back but then flows into the main back running down which is Lingmel back so yeah I just felt that the the picture was quite good with and you can see rust water in the in the distance and it was a sort of leading line and and that took me fancy so I thought I'd capture that I just thought I'd have a bit of a rest here and I'm just debating uh, as you can see there's the camera I was going to say that's the camera there so if we just show you the So that's the sort of image we're looking at. But I was just debating whether to if we just come down here. There is some quite nice. Just debating whether to go on a bit or just to to stop here. There's some quite nice uh, cascades. If you look, we were zoom in. They might make some like, quite nice images. I mean, I had no idea when I came out of here what sort of images I'd get, whether they'd be the, the, the big vista or whatever. Uh, but I'll just sort of, well, let's just zoom back out. And we'll just talk about briefly about where we are. So, um, let's come around here. Oh, let's just go back up to the flat bit where the camera is. Then it's easier to... So we can see in there that's west water down there. Uh, so that's uh, we parked at the car park just at the head of the the lake. And uh, if we come up up there, and that's U Barra. Now I know I did that for the Wainwrights. So that to me was the worst one. It was very much of a scramble getting up U Barra. And then if we zoom in, the one behind it there. Whoops! Go, want to go down a bit. Now I think that might be pillar, I'm not exactly sure. And then we'll zoom back out and we'll go and now that's um to go. Now that's Kirk Fell. And we come round here and we get Great Gable. Now I was half debating but I'm not I'm not gonna do it today. At some point I want to come back and there's a, a pinnacle on there called Nape's Needle and at some point I want to try and come and photograph it. I've just got to work out where it is and what the, the best position would be. Um, I did try it uh, on a video about a year ago and I just couldn't work out where it was. And I mean when you look on the, after I came back home and you look on the, the map or you look on an aerial view, it's still it's now impossible to work out where it is so that's great gable uh, come round and as far as i know that's great end and then further round is scarfo which you can't see but the big one here is that we can see there is ling mel um, now when i did the rain rain rights i went up and to do when i did scarfo pike i did go up ling mel first then to scarfo pike which is behind onto scarfo and then down to one called slight side and that so and then that brings us back round to Westwater and I can't remember the name of the uh, if we just zoom in the one on the side of Westwater there if I'll dig it out and put it up on the video so so that's where we are I'm just debating what to do whether just to go a little bit further I might be able to get a nice image of of great end or whether to to look at these little cascades I think I think they could do really well so anyway um, whatever happens if I do the cascade you'll have you I'll put the images up now and then maybe head back I might just take a few and then head up a bit further to try and get an image of, of great end so anyway we'll stop rambling and we'll see you a little bit later
right well I decided to take capture some images of these cascades before I just go a bit further up see if I can get a good image of uh, Great End but what I did do which is um, something new for me I've always wondered how people get the certain silkiness um, of, on waterfalls and uh, so this time I tried I mean I often try long exposures but I did try a really long exposure so I did a 20 second exposure I think it was 20 second exposure and it was looking very good on the back of the camera so what I'll do is I'll just put up what I would normally do as a long exposure which is maybe quarter of a second something like that just to get a certain smoothness but I was also put the really long exposure on and it'd be great if people could comment on which they felt was the best and why so yeah we'll put those up and we'll just go up a bit further not much further because it's uh, probably getting on towards five o'clock now uh, a bit further on get some images of Great End and then we'll head back possibly to the, the Wasdale Head Inn and have a, a quick um, beverage some liquid refreshment and then back to the van and then head home so we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've come up with a composition of Great End, um, I'll show you there's the camera and then we've got this tree, oh, let's zoom out, this tree in the foreground and then we've got Great End behind and i um, not quite sure what the one up there is, it's not going to be in the, in the view, I think that's bold fell, but um, yeah it's 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 different. I've taken some I captured some normal settings with a I can't remember what the shutter speed was, but then I put the ten stop ND filter on and gone for some long exposures, aiming to them to be in black and white. So I set the camera to black and white, as you can see from the back of the screen there as we look at the view. So yeah, hopefully they'll come out quite good. Um, I think what we're going to do now is head back, you can't actually see Wastwater now but uh, you can see, if I zoom in I don't know whether you're able to see it, but you can see the houses and that of Wasdale Head so we're going to head back there 
and then walk back to the van and then home. So it's going to be getting going to be getting on by the time we get home. I think it's gone five o'clock now. So yeah, I mean, um, hopefully that it's been a it's been good to get out. But we'll put whichever image is best. Whether we put both um, the the colour image and the black and white. The only problem with the, the long exposure, and I don't know how it'll come out, what we'll see till we get home on the computer, it is quite windy. So whether we get blur on, on the lee, uh, the branches of the trees blowing about, that, but that might be quite good, quite nice with the, the mountain behind. So yeah, we'll put the best image up and then we're gonna head on back. So we'll see you a little bit later. Right, we're heading back to the van now, so no, it's been a good day, it's good to get out. I'm just struggling a bit at the moment, seem to not be sleeping too well, so anyway, no, it was good to come out. And yeah, I think I've got some good images, maybe more waterfalls or cascades than I thought there would be, I thought there might be more the big vista, but it is what it is so yeah it's um hopefully you've enjoyed it and uh, it'll be interesting to see what that picture of the waterfalls where i did the 22nd exposure if that actually makes a difference because that'd be quite good um if i can get them just how i like them but yeah be any comments and uh, be much appreciated as i normally say yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, please click the thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing, why not subscribe? Um, all those help the algorithm, as do. If there's anything, please comment. <clears throat> and I do reply to all comments, even if it's just a, a thank you. Uh, if Obviously, if it's a question, I'll answer the question. But sometimes it's just great video. Keep up the good works. And I do reply thank you for that sort of comment. But yeah all comments are much appreciated so i'm not quite sure where the next video will be from um we seem to have got not got behind a bit i thought we were getting ahead when i did the two from the northeast coast and then i struggled to get out till now to do um uh, another one hopefully you've enjoyed the little bonus ones that i've put up mid midweek that was the bluebells and the aurora ones that were under 10 minutes or oh, i think the um aurora one was a smidgen over 10 minutes but just short ones rather than like these ones which tend to be roundish the 20 minute mark um yeah it's strange because i don't normally time what I'm doing I just go ahead and video and check the images and then yeah more often than not it ends up coming around about the the 20 minute mark so yeah it's good so yeah the, the channel's still growing slowly uh, if you think it's good we'll pass the word that would be much appreciated so yeah well, I'm not as I say I'm not quite sure where the next one will be It'd be nice to get out again but yeah Whatever it is, we'll see you on the next video.